Millennium Water Fountain is. Um, I don't know. Did, was it stolen? It probably wasn't stolen. No. It's just missing. This is where it should supposed to be? They are hiding it. <laughs> We're gonna put a treasure map there and we're gonna have to seek it out and find it. The UVM Howard Fountain has been an anchor at the heart of the UVM Campus Green since its first installation in 1874. The fountain's being renovated because, uh, because for years and years now, Physical Plan has had to uh, apply coatings to the basin and the fountain itself. Uh, in other words, they had to paint it uh, over and over and over again. Annually, we've had to do all these things, address some of the broken bricks, do the painting, paint the fountain each year for commencement. So with one big effort here, we're trying to eliminate many of the maintenance items for years to come. We found the fountain at Vulcan Supply Company in Milton, Vermont. Dave Blatchley discovered a wealth of historic photographs which showed the original condition of the fountain, which was the fountain that we have with the base and the fish, but the intermediate part was another riser of uh, entwined fish. And then on top of the shells, instead of these little ball-shaped pieces, there was a little boy with a fish. We decided that the simplest thing would, to, would be to cast in lead because lead is a very low melting point and yet it's a very durable material. Shells and these cast iron tails are original. Um, everything else is new, and the boy is antique, but it's not original to this fountain. To me, that's what makes a job like this so exciting: is not just the you know the act of restoring a really cool thing, but working with other people that are energized by it. You know. On a chilly spring Saturday morning, the fountain returns to the UVM Green six months after it was removed for restoration.